Okay, so let's go through some ballet books. I'm gonna start with the biggest ones that I usually keep on the coffee table downstairs, um, which I had to run downstairs and get. So this one, I love this book so much, is The Ballerina Project. Um, and it, like, the book itself is like, I don't know how well you can see this, but it's like ballet pink satin. Um, it's just a really cool book. And inside it's all, I'm pretty sure it's all black and white. No, there's some color in here too. Um, it's just like it's all really elegant ballet photos um, from ballerinas all over the world. And this type of photography is what got me into photography and what I really would love to do more of if I had the opportunity to do so. Um, so this is why it's one of my favorite books. This next one, did not know it was going to be as big as it was when I asked for it for Christmas one year, <laughs> is um, Ballet, the Definitive illustrated story. It's literally a giant, um, I think it's the, yeah, it's the DK books. Um, it's one of like the, like literal, like full history of ballet. Like it's just, it's very cool. It goes way back all the way up to like more modern stuff. Um, it goes over lots of actual, like it has like lots of famous ballets in it. So it goes through the stories of a lot of the ballets and things. Um, so it is very interesting. It's just massive. So obviously I have not read all of that one either. I have tried to, but I have a hard time sitting and reading a book this big. Um, now the book I'm about to start that I got for Christmas that I have not started yet and I'm excited for it is called Built for Ballet. Okay, maybe you can see these better now. Um, it's just the glare from the light. I'm using a ring light because it's so dark in here. Um, but this is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it better now. Without my eye in the picture, come on, focus on the book. <laughs> um, but it looks really interesting. It's a thicker book, but it looks really good. So I'm excited to start reading that one. Okay, we got a lot here. It's this entire shelf up here. These are all the books here that I have not read yet, that I've gotten. Um, so this one's a small one, but it's The Ballerina Mindset by Megan Fairchild. Because um, I've always really liked her, so this is her book. And I just, I haven't gotten to read that one yet either. This one looks really good. It's called Being a Ballerina, The Power and Perfection of a Dancing Life. Um, Gavin Larson is the ballerina that's on it. So I haven't read that one yet either. This my husband got me for Christmas. This is um, Ballet Class in American History, which I think Catherine Morgan, I think, was the one who recommended it because somebody recommended it and that's why it was on my list. Um, so I haven't read that one either. And then this one is called Turning Point. How a new generation of dancers is saving ballet from itself. So we'll see. I like kind of more the history ones, not the ones that are all like, let's change. Like, I, not that I'm saying it doesn't need change. I'm just saying like the, the, you know, the political stuff isn't really my thing when I'm reading stuff. It doesn't interest me as much. Um, which speaking of, the one I just finished that took me forever to read was Swan Dive. Um, more of my issues with this book is she is just very crude and crass and dark. And I literally went through and because it's just how I am, I don't like bad language. I literally went through and like blacked out where there were any like bad words in it because I just like, I'm like, that's not necessary. I've never understood why using language is necessary. Like bad language is necessary. It's just me. I think it's tacky. But anyway, so this, it was a good book, but there was just a lot of it that I was kind of like, I really didn't need to know that. So, um, these two are my two absolute favorite ballet books by Joanna Marsh. Um, they are, um, fiction, but they are based on like an adult ballet dancer who, um, starts to take ballet more seriously and things. I'm not going to give much more away, but there are two books. It's Cantique and La Folia. Um, these are so, so good. Like, these books are, this book especially is so beat up because I've read it so many times. I also have the audiobook and the Kindle version because I love them that much. So definitely check these two out. They are so good. That, that's that got to be like the winner of any ballet book I've read. Um, this I got, it's just called um, Home at the Bar Adult Ballet. Um, so it's a very, very, I'm trying to show you without it there. So it's a very skinny little book. A lot of it's just like, how to do ballet at home and taking classes at home, things that are important to know, like it talks about bar and center, it talks about safety, it talks about, um, I think this was stress. Um, 
being a new person in the first class. Like there's just lots of interesting little things and it's such an easy little read that it's just very nice. As a potential adult dancer and as someone who's about to read this book, you may need a little encouragement to be brave enough to get back to class if you've had prior dance training or take your first step into the studio if you're entirely new to the discipline. So this is just a simple little book that I think might really help some people that are doing either of those things, going back for the first time in a while or starting for the first time. So there's that. This one took me a little while to read, um, but I really, really liked it. Sometimes I have a harder time reading stuff that's not on my Kindle because I can't read it at night with the lights off. Um, this is called Boston Ballerina. I really, really loved this book. It was very interesting to read. Um, it took me a little while to read it, like I said, but I really, really enjoyed this one. So this is a very good book. Let's see. This I have not read. <laughs> Technical Manual and Dictionary of Classical Ballet. Like, it's literally just ballet terms dictionary. So no, I have not read that. But I have lots of books like that that are kind of more technical books that I'm just kind of like... I think people gave them to me or at one point maybe during my ballet like extreme phase I bought some of these because I wanted to have a bookshelf of ballet books which I kind of do. This one is called Adult Ballet from Beginner to Intermediate. Um, this is kind of similar to the one here a little bit like it's more just like I don't know that I remember getting much out of this one, um, but that was just me personally. And this was already when I was already way back into ballet too. So if you are more of a beginner, this may be a really good book to start with because it is for adult ballet dancers. I just had already been back enough at that point that I really didn't need it. Um, this I really want. Oh, I forgot this was in here. I'm really excited to read this one. Oh, I need to keep that out. <laughs> this is what happens sometimes. I get a lot of books from people and things and then I don't get a chance. I think I got this off eBay used too. This was on, so girls I used to dance with at Dela, um, the girl that was teaching us our whoops, uh, wedding dance, and then her roommate, who is one of my friends who I did photos of, had this book on their bookshelf. Um, it's a fictional ballet book called Tour de Force. Um, and it just sounds really cool. It's this, I think, I don't know, it just sounds really good. Um, I actually bought it on my Kindle too because I was like, oh, I need to find time to read this. So that may be my next book to read like actual read on my Kindle too. I know I have both, but I love having books like this on my bookshelf too, because I just, I like, I like physical books. Put that one there. Actually, I put that with my do read books. All right, next. This is called, clearly I got this at half price books because the sticker is still in here. I don't even know if I've read it. It's called The Point Book. <laughs> um, I think it's supposed to be mostly about point shoes. I just don't think, I think I tried to read it and it was like, like literally there's like, anatomy of the foot like there's stuff in here that i'm like we really don't need to know all that um profiles of point shoe makers and sellers okay this part i know i did read because it talks about all the different point shoe brands at the time that this book was made um so it is very interesting um there's sample ballet classes in here which is interesting it has counts and everything so you can do those um what else is in here point related injuries and their remedies I just haven't really done this because it's again more of a technical book and I haven't gone through all of those. Next one, this one I did read. This was, I think this was a, I'm pretty sure this was, yeah. This was a fictional book. It was just a very short one. It was okay. It's called Dancing in Time. Um, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, I think it was pretty good, but I think I remember there being stuff in this that I was kind of like, okay, I really didn't need to read that. Like, so I don't know, but. It wasn't bad. I just don't remember loving it. Um, this was a very good book. I read this a long time ago. This is Misty Copeland's, I think, first book called um, Dan or Life in Motion, sorry. Um, but yeah, I read this, gosh, a long time ago. But it was very good. It was really, really interesting. And then Michaela de Prince's book, I could not put this down. Like, it was just like jaw-dropping what all she went through to where she came, or where she got to. <laughs> um, it's called Taking Flight. Um, but yeah, I think this is, this was, wow, this was a phenomenal book to read. It's not a long book, but it is really good. This one, uh, clearly the book's bookmark is still in it, so I don't think I ever finished this book. Um, yeah, hmm, interesting. There is a bookmark in the back here. So this is called Raising the Bar. And I remember why I didn't love this one. I was really excited about it because it's like, um, it's a journalist and an adult person or dancer who wants to 
go around and see all the nutcrackers and then wants to train herself just to see what it's like just for a brief time as if she was a professional dancer to do a part in the local nutcracker but I think what I didn't like about it is she was so negative about stuff the whole time like about her body and things like that and like while I know we deal with that it kind of like made it hard for me to read um, and then it was just very technical and there was just too much like Pilates for this and there was like a whole chapter on like the muscles and the things and I'm like I just couldn't get into it so clearly didn't finish that one um this one was really really good oh this is okay Boston Ballerina and this one I kind of got mixed up but this is really good too this is called Dancing Through It um this is Jennifer Ringer's book I really 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 liked this one um gosh this was a great book this is one that I just could not put down to it was very good so good book um, these are point shoes that were signed for me by Melissa Gelfin with Inside Ballet. That says to Allie. Um, let's see here. This one I don't think I finished yet. Because um, it wasn't as much, it was a lot more of like a journaling kind of thing. So I haven't really gotten through it. Because um, there's a lot of like journaling pages and things. But it's called Dreaming with God. Um, it's Sarah Beth Marr. And it's a bold call to step out and follow God's lead. But it's about, I think, being a dancer and a Christian, um, and that's why I personally really liked it. But it's a lot more like a journal, like there's a lot of like fill out these kind of pages and things. Um, so that is why I didn't really get as far in that approach, but that's why I read books. This I have never actually fully read, but it is the Faber Pocket Guide to Ballet. It's literally just a tiny book on ballet. Um, it talks about different ballets, like different works and the plots and all that in here. That's all that is. This one I have not read. Um, this is a very old, a lot of these I got off eBay like super cheap and just put them on my shelf. This is 100 Lessons in Classical Ballet. Um, I don't think it was bad necessarily. It just was, it did not hold my attention when I tried to read it. Like this literally goes through like exact ballet classes and like what they do in them and stuff. And I'm like, it just wasn't interesting to read. <laughs> Um, this one I've used a few times. This is the Ballet Lover's Companion. Um, looks like this. I think there are other versions of it, but basically it's kind of like that other, sorry, it's kind of like that other one where it has like the different ballets in it. And you can go through and find the ones you're looking for and read the synopsis and everything in here. So this is, oh, this is a new one. It was just back there um, because I have actually kind of read through it, but this is called Dancers in Motion. I got this for Christmas because it's all about photographing dancers, which I think is really cool. Because again, that's what I love to do. I would love to do more photographing ballet dancers if I could. So that's why I have this one. Um, I have kind of already skimmed through all of it because it's a pretty thin book, so that's why I haven't like fully read it, read it, but it also looked better sitting back there, so that's why I was there. This I have not read in a while. It had a lot more exercises in it. I tried to do a lot more in the beginning with this. So it's called Ballet Beautiful by Mary Helen Bowers. Like, I liked the idea of a lot of her stuff, but, like, I just couldn't get into it. Um, I think her other book I got into more. I think there's another one over here somewhere, but um, it's a lot of, like, exercises and things, like how to do exercises, which I just didn't find as interesting personally. This one is an older book that I just liked, because, again, dance photography. It's a Jordan Matter book, Dancers Among Us. I think that was, like, his original dance ballet dance book. I'm not as much liking his new stuff that he does. I really just liked the old stuff that he did when he just photographed like dancers everywhere. So this, um, this was pretty good, but it's not as much a story. It's more about like eating healthy and other things too. So it wasn't something I was as into. Um, it's Misty Copeland's book, Ballerina Body. Um, so parts of the book were very interesting, but clearly because I have it marked, I didn't get very far in it. Um, because then it kind of got to more like recipes and things and I and then like how to do exercises again and things I just stuff that I was like, eh, I'm good. <laughs> I'd rather follow along with like a YouTube video than try and read it through a book. This one um, was apparently an old library book when I got it off eBay, but I really, really liked this one. Um, this is the Joffrey Ballet School's Ballet Fit. It is a really, really old book, but um, I really, really enjoyed this. Um, it talked about ballet class stuff and it was just like a really really interesting book so there's another bookmark but this one I have read a lot more through it talks about correct way to do certain things in the class how to dress how to do things I don't know I just thought this was a really really good a well done version um, this 
I've used a ton, that's why it's so beat up, is the Ballet Companion from Gaynor Menden. So um, I think this is an excellent book. It has a lot of the history. Oh, that's funny, I have a birthday card in here. Um, it has a lot of the history of ballet, as well as stuff about point shoes. There's exercises. There's so much in here in all different ways. Um, so again, a more of a technical book, but I really liked this one a lot. This one is Ballet for Life, also by Mary Helen Bowers um, from Ballet Fit. It's a very pretty book. Um, it's got lots of beautiful photos in it. Um, it talks about lots of things, like it talks about like ballet feet. Like there's just I thought it just had really really beautiful photos in it too, so I really liked it for that. Um, I'm trying to think what else in here. Like a lot of this is like tips on how to do certain poses and things like tips like lift the back leg from the thigh and toe for higher extension and a more dramatic line and things like just really beautiful beautiful photos in here which is why I liked this one a lot um, I feel like that's mostly more about it she's just worked with a lot of people she worked with Natalie Portman on Black Swan and just a lot of other things so I thought her book was really interesting I have not read this one. This is just an ancient Balanchine's complete series of the great ballets. It's really old. I don't even know where I found this thing. It's so old. Um, it literally, like, I'm not joking, like, the pages look like they're, like, falling apart. They're so old. So, yeah. That's just Balanchine stuff. This is a Cincinnati Center Stage Dance Magazine, which I only got a copy of because, although it was... Without credit to me, I'm a little annoyed at um, photo that I took from the studio I used to be at. Um, that was a photo that I took though at one of their performances. You know, according to them, my photos aren't good enough to be used for marketing. But anyway, that's why my mom got me the magazine because my photo that I took was on the back. So it's the first time I've ever been published, even though my name is nowhere in there that I took the photo. Um, the perfect point book. This was um, Lisa, Lisa Howell. Um, she's a physiotherapist for dancers in Australia. Um, and she, I had a lot of people recommend this book as like a really good tool for lots of exercises. This is one of the things people recommend the most for exercises for point work because it has like TheraBand, it has ball exercises, it has like toe strengthening exercises, all these different things. Like literally any of the things, and it has like a progress thing in here. Like you can track like, have you been doing these? How are you doing? Um, so it was really good for that. I'm not great at doing that stuff, but it is a very good book for that. This um, is just the little program guide from when we saw Giselle in um, London. That was not my favorite version. <laughs> this is the ballet book, Darcy Bustle. Um, it literally is just a very simple, it's one of those DK eyewitness books. Um, very simple one, but you know, it was interesting nonetheless. Uh, this is ABT's book, the ballet book. Um, I don't know that I've ever really read through this one either. I think a lot of it, I mean, it is interesting. It's just some of these books are so big that it's really hard to like sit and read through them. Like, where was that? I just saw something that was really interesting in here, but I don't know where it went. Cause like, here's a whole section of point shoes. I don't know how much you can see that, but, um, it's just interesting. Like there's just a lot of, a lot of words in here. Um, I just haven't really read through this one. It probably would be interesting to go through and actually read more of it, but, and then there's lots of show pictures in the back here. Um, and then this last one, <sighs> Suki Shore on Ballet Technique. I don't think I've actually read this one at all. I think multiple people recommended this one, that it was really good for learning about ballet technique, and it has lots of pictures and stuff. Again, I'm better at following like YouTube videos of people kind of going through it than I am at reading a book about technique. That's just not, I've never been as good at reading about technique and like tech, even when I watch like my camera videos and photography videos, I'm better at like listening to someone talk about it than I am about reading about it. Um, the English National Ballet. Okay, so. That's all my ballet books. There's a lot of them. I gotta put them all back now. Um, if there's any more that you want me to talk about or anything, or you'd like to know more about, just let me know. But 
I have a lot and clearly I have a lot that I have not read enough of. A lot of it's just I wanted to collect ballet books and a lot of them were like really cheap on like eBay or at half price books. So that's kind of why I did that just to fill my bookshelf up. Um, but yeah, but now people are actually starting to like do like the kinds like these and stuff where it's like actual like memoirs and things that I really, I really enjoy reading those as well as like the fiction ones like these. So um, there are more fictional ballet books that I found on Amazon. I've saved. I just haven't read any of them yet. I have a massive Amazon list of ballet books that I still have not read or gotten or anything. So there's still a lot out there. It's just kind of hard to know which ones are good ones that I would enjoy too. Because what I enjoy reading, you might not. But either way, hopefully this helps you get some idea of, and if you need more information on these books, if I went through them too fast or something, or if you need the name or something of one, just shoot me a message or a comment on here and I'll get back to you with that. But other than that, that is my ballet book collection.